Hey there, tech fans. Rick here from the O-Ray team with an overview of the HDS 401 MV 4K HDMI 4x1 media switcher. This product makes it very simple for you to select from up to four HDMI media sources and send the selected source to a single monitor in full 4K resolution. You can make those selections using the buttons on the front of the product or with the included remote control. The product also offers four additional display modes that allow you to combine multiple input sources on a single screen with complete control over how they're displayed. The product features audio extraction capabilities as well, which will strip the audio from the selected media stream and allow you to pass that to an external audio system for that full theater experience. Finally, the product supports both HDMI output as well as VGA output to accommodate a wide range of monitors. Now, as part of this overview, I'd like to start with an unboxing of the product just to show you all the components that are included with the kit, and then I'll list the audio and video standards the product can support. I'll take a closer look at all of the components and explain exactly what they do, and then I'll come back and actually install the unit here to show you just how easy it'll be to use with your own equipment at home. So let's get started with the unboxing. When you open up the box, you'll find the switcher unit, a power supply for the switcher unit, a remote control you can use to make those selections, a bracketing kit that you can use to actually mount the unit up off the ground and out of the way, and also included is a full instruction manual that lists all of the audio and video standards your product can support, connection diagrams, and other information you'll need to actually install the unit with your own equipment. Now, if you stay tuned, I'll list the audio and video standards next, and then we'll take a closer look at all the components. The O-Ray HDS 401 MV supports a wide range of media devices, including game consoles, streaming devices like Roku and Apple TV, laptops, cable boxes, and DVD players. The product supports full 4K 30Hz media and has outputs for both HDMI or VGA connected monitors. The audio profiles include DTS Digital, Dolby Digital, LPCM, Dolby True HD, Master Audio, and Pass-Through 9.1. The product also provides audio extraction and provides five different display modes to choose from where you can combine multiple inputs on a single monitor. Inside the kit, you'll find the quad multi-viewer, a power supply that's used to power the unit. It's a standard 12 volt power supply. This end plugs into the wall. The other end has a barrel connection on it, which plugs into the back of the unit. That's all the power you'll need to operate the product. Also included is a set of brackets that can be used to mount the product up off the ground and out of the way. Infrared remote control that allows you to make the selections for the inputs versus the outputs. And then finally, a full instruction manual is also included that shows you all the connection diagrams you'll need to connect this up to your own equipment at home, as well as the different display modes the product can supply. Now I'll take a closer look at the module. The unit features a full metal enclosure, which makes it extremely durable and also helps to minimize outside interference from causing any issues with the sensitive electronics inside. On either side of the module, you'll find ventilation slots, and those are there to keep the electronics inside at a comfortable temperature. You'll also see two mounting holes that can be used with the included bracketing kit to mount this module off the ground to the bottom of a desk or a nearby wall. On the front of the product, on the left-hand side, you'll notice a power indicator. The minute you plug the power supply into the wall and add power to the unit, that will come on indicating valid power. To the right of that is the infrared receiver port, and that's used with the included remote control. When you use the remote control to make selections, that's where those infrared signals are picked up. To the right of that are four channel selectors, and these are used to decide which of the inputs is sent to the output. To the right of that is a mode switch. Every time you tap that, you'll step through a different mode, which determines which of the inputs is shown on screen. To the right of that is a resolution button, and you can tap that and step through different resolutions for the output monitor. To the right of that is a service port. It's a standard micro USB port, and that's used for pushing firmware to the product if needed later on. You'll connect up a micro USB cable from here to your computer, push the firmware to the product to actually do the updates. On the bottom of the unit, more ventilation slots for cooling. On the rear of the unit, on the left, are four HDMI ports. These are the input ports from the media devices, DVD player, computer, laptop, game console, could be any type of valid input port that's HDMI connected. To the right of that is the output port, standard HDMI port. This connects up to your monitor or widescreen TV. It's where you're gonna display the content that you selected from these input choices. To the right of that is a VGA connection. You can use the HDMI or with older monitors, the VGA port to make the connection to that monitor. To the right of that is the audio output port. The unit can do audio extraction and it'll output analog audio through that three and a half millimeter port and you can connect it up to an external stereo system for better audio quality. To the right of that is the power port, and that's used with the power supply. The barrel connector slides in there. You can finger tighten the collar, and that's all the power you'll need to operate the unit. 
Now I'll show you the connections you'll need to make to use the quad multi viewer with your own equipment at home. For this demonstration, I have four different media sources set up on the table next to me, a home computer, a laptop, a game console, and a Roku media streaming player. I've got those plugged in and HDMI cables connected to them. I have a monitor here that I'm going to use as my output device, and I've got the module in front of me. The first set of connections I'll make are the input sources, and here are the four HDMI cables, and I'll connect those to input number one, input number two, input number three, and input number four. Now you don't have to plug in four different devices, you can use as many as you like, but you have a maximum of four. The next connection is the output device, which is this monitor. Again, an HDMI connection. That plugs into the HDMI output port on the back. Now we're ready to add power. I've already plugged that into the floor, and I've got a barrel connection that plugs into the port on the back. Now the minute I add power, you'll notice the power LED comes on. In a minute, you're gonna see all the lights light up in front of the buttons, and what's happening is it's going through a power on self-test where it's checking the input resolution of all the different sources against the output resolution the monitor can display. It's making whatever adjustments are needed to give you the best possible picture. It's also checking all the internal electronics to make sure they're working okay. When it's satisfied, it'll transfer the first image over to that monitor. Now right now I've got it set up on input number one. I can vary that by hitting the button in the front, there's input number two, the game console, number three is the computer, and the fourth one is the Roku. So you can step through those as needed to display which of the four inputs you want on the monitor. The nice part about this is you also have a mode display button here that if I hit the mode display, you'll see what'll happen. Now I can show all four at the same time. If I hit it again, I'm showing two large in the middle and two smaller on either side, which is a little bit squashed because the monitor's a little bit small. Normally you use this with a widescreen monitor. If I hit it again, I'm displaying two different images from the input sources on the front. Now what I can do as well is vary those. So I can tap this button to change it. Maybe I want to have the Roku on one or the laptop on one or maybe a game console. And then I can vary the other one as well. So it gives you a lot of control over not only which input is being directed to the output, but the mode selection allows you to show more than one input at a time, which can be really handy in a lot of different situations. So that's pretty much all there is to hook it up. It really is just that simple. I hope you found this overview of the HDS 401MV 4K HDMI 4x1 media switcher helpful. It really does make it simple for you to select from up to four HDMI media sources and have that selected content sent to a single monitor in full 4K resolution. You also have an option of choosing one of the other four display modes to combine multiple inputs on a single monitor with full control over how they're displayed. The product performs audio extraction capabilities, which allow you to strip the audio from the selected media stream and then send that to an external amplifier for even better audio quality. Finally, since the product provides both HDMI and VGA outputs, it means it's completely compatible with a wide range of monitors on the market today. Everything you need to get started is included with the kit, and with a few simple connections, you can be up and running in no time. So until next time, thanks for watching.